Through employee surveys, town hall meetings, and work sessions, the shared governance process has emerged as MCC's top priority. For the past year, MCC's board of trustees, officers, and governance group leaders have all participated in conversations about the shared goal of developing a common vision for shared governance. We want to make sure you know about this work and to recognize the large group of individuals working together to accomplish this goal. We've asked some of the employees who have been working on this effort to share their perspective. Shared governance is very important because um, it allows all the stakeholders throughout the district to have input into um, what, what the mission, the vision, and, and the activities of the college are. Overall, the importance of shared governance is a good, clear definition that uh, we should use as guiding principles on how we operate. Uh, one thing staff has always felt is, <clears throat> when it comes to climate and culture, is a functional workplace will make people happier. If people understand what they're supposed to do and it's easier to get the job done, they'll be happier. We've had some struggles in the past. We've had some rough times and I think uh, a lot of employees have felt like uh, a little disenfranchised and that maybe shared governance wasn't working as well as they would have liked to have seen it work. And over a period of time, I think we became comfortable and things changed. And we never readdressed the idea of what shared government should be. I mean, it should never be something that is done, right? It should be kind of a, this flowing concept. When I first started doing this, I thought that um, that staff and faculty had different issues. But in reality, they're very similar in that we both want to see the college move forward in positive directions. Um, we want to have a clearly defined strategic plan. And um, you know everybody just wants to get on the same page, make sure we're working together towards the same goals. And that's really what shared governance is all about. The process that we, we came up with was to bring together the leaders of all the shared governance groups and also to bring um, the officers all to the same table so that we could sit down and work through a lot of the issues that um, had, had come up. I think the conversations have been very beneficial. Um, again, getting everybody at the table to, to really understand what what shared governance means at MCC. There was a lot of work done to make sure everybody's thoughts and ideas and hopes uh, for the college were captured and then put into motion. I, I think we are working really well to try to readdress what we believe that shared governance is, all the governance groups, the officers, um, really trying to readdress that issue. We've come up with a variety of concepts. We have we have, some, we have some things that we need to follow. Um, so we have these eight guiding principles that allow us to kind of help form our, um, our vision and our framework of what we think shared government should be. I, I said to someone at one point in time, it's painfully slow, and it is, but work like this doesn't happen fast. You know, we're, we're working on rebuilding trust as well, and that doesn't happen quickly. My goal for shared governance is that uh, it continues to be functionally based. It's based on function. It's based on goals and outcomes. It's based on providing a very productive, functional, professional workplace. My goals are that we would continue this work and continue to work toward a common vision while allowing for, you know, as much input as possible. I think that people who haven't been part of the process, I would like them to seek opportunities to be part of that process. Um, ask your governor's leaders to see what they can do. We had a, a very rich conversation about things that should be included in our definition. So we weren't just starting from scratch. We took the definition back to the larger group and there was a little bit more discussion and I think one or two more little small tweaks and, and then we voted on it as a group to adopt it as our generic definition of shared governance. We have, I think, a good definition now that we can actually probably look at and then if we can move forward if we need to change it or at least alter it to tweak it with the times and what we need is to happen. Everybody had an idea of what share governance was for themselves. And after this work, people have had have been able to come together with a shared vision of shared governance.